CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 Practice Exam Questions 151 through 155 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you preparing to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 151. A regional healthcare provider stores sensitive patient data and operates under strict data protection laws. During a compliance review, leadership expresses concern about the risks of failing to meet government regulatory requirements. Which of the following would be the greatest concern for the organization? The answer is B. Sanctions. Sanctions are among the most serious consequences of failing to comply with government regulations. They can result in financial penalties and legal actions. While other measures like compliance reporting or consent requirements are part of staying in compliance, sanctions represent the outcome of falling short. Organizations that handle sensitive data are especially motivated to avoid these penalties. Question 152. A security engineer at a large company is tasked with improving identity and access management to ensure employees are restricted from logging into corporate systems outside of their scheduled work hours. Which of the following access controls should the security engineer implement to meet this requirement? The answer is B. Time of day restrictions. Time of day restrictions are a type of access control that enforces login permissions based on defined time windows. This ensures users can only access systems during approved hours, such as scheduled work shifts. It helps prevent unauthorized access during off hours and reduces the risk of insider threats or compromised accounts being used at unusual times. Question 153. A company signed a contract with a cloud provider to host its customer portal. As part of the agreement, the provider guarantees 99.99% uptime and outlines specific penalties if availability falls below that threshold. Which of the following documents would most likely define these terms? The answer is C. SLA. A service level agreement, or SLA, is a formal contract between a service provider and a client that outlines the expected level of service, including performance metrics such as uptime, response times, and responsibilities. In this case, the provider's commitment to 99.99% uptime is a very common SLA clause. Question 154. A company is discarding a classified storage array and hires an outside vendor to complete the disposal. Which of the following should the company request from the vendor? The answer is A. Certification. When disposing of classified or sensitive equipment through a third-party vendor, the company should request a certificate of destruction or sanitization. This document verifies that the data and hardware were securely handled and rendered unusable. Certification plays a key role in ensuring regulatory compliance and protecting the organization from data leakage during asset disposal. Question 155. A digital forensics analyst is investigating the unauthorized distribution of a confidential company document. The analyst examines the file and discovers details about the document's creation date the device used to create it, and the user account associated with the original author. Which of the following types of information did the analyst most likely review? The answer is D. Metadata. Metadata refers to the descriptive information embedded in a file that provides insight into its origin, author, timestamps, and device or software used. This data is especially useful in forensic investigations when tracking the flow of documents or identifying users responsible for creating or modifying files. Metadata does not change the content itself, but it does support auditing, attribution, and incident response efforts. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, 
Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.